All right. I think I'm next to bat. All right. Start off with a minute here. Here we go. Isaiah 44, verse 6 says this. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I'm also the last. There is no God besides me. I believe clearly the Old Testament theology over and over emphasizes that there is monotheism. There's one God, right? Why do I highlight that? Well, when I first started off, I shared John 1.1, 1, 1, John 1.3, 1, um, John 8.58, where Jesus said, I am. They picked up stones to kill him. I shared John 10.30. I am my father. When I shared John 14.9. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. Thomas said, the Lord of me and the God of me. John, throughout his writing, is emphasizing the deity of Jesus Christ. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 17, it says the following. When I saw him, this being John, I fell at his feet like a dead man. And he placed his right hand upon me saying, do not be afraid. I am the first. I am the last. Echoing exactly Isaiah 44, verse 6. Let me give you one more reference here. As I highlighted earlier, Revelation 22. The one speaking here is coming quickly. Verse 7, I am coming quickly. Verse 20 says, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come Lord Jesus. So I highlight that because verse 12 and 13 is Jesus speaking. Behold, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me to render to everyone according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. My question to you, gentlemen, is this. If the Old Testament, Isaiah 44, verse 6, says there is no other God besides God, says he is the first and last, the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus says he is the first and last, the Alpha and the Omega. How can Jesus then not be God if Jesus actually, in fact, claimed it? Josh, you're up next. Then it would be Matt. Then it would be Thomas. Okay. It doesn't say besides. It says beside. There is no God beside me. Um, when God and Jesus both say, I am the first and the last, it's kind of like an ancient way of saying I'm the only one. I'm the only begotten, or I'm the only, I'm, I'm an only child, or I'm the only, there's only one, I'm unique. And both God and Jesus, if, if God, was uh, alone at one time, and he definitely is unique. And if Jesus is the only begotten, uh, then he is also definitely unique. Okay, Matt, you're up. You're again muted, Matt. Just don't mute yourself. <laughs> uh, so I can talk to myself. Um <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna <laughs> let Ignatius speak for it. Um, God Himself was manifested in, uni in human form for the renewal of eternal life. That's from the God. That's from His letter to the Philippians. Continue in intimate union with Jesus Christ, our God. That's from the letter to the Magnesians. I pray for your happiness forever in our God, Jesus Christ. That's from His letter to Polycarp. Letter to Trifo. Understand the word, for he is divine. It's Justin Martyr. The father of the universe has a son, and he being the first begotten word of God is even God. That's from his uh, first apology. So we see time and time again that those who are learning from the disciples are understanding exactly what the disciples are saying Jesus taught. Time and time and time again, we see one, two generations removed. The first things, the first things that were taught are continuing to be recited by those who learned first and second hand. That's it? Yep. All right, Thomas, you got two minutes to give your response as well. Thank you. 
Well, I, I will respond to Matt on his quoting the church fathers. One thing you have to keep in mind uh, about the church fathers when you read an anti Nicene father, uh, many of the people who would say Jesus is God uh, would not be Trinitarians. They would be modalists, basically, which I would presume that you reject. And I would also add that even the anti Nicene fathers, when they use the word God, they can mean different things by it. For example, Justin Martyr says Jesus is a second God, and Origen says Jesus is another God. In fact, Origen, when directly pressed on the issue of whether Jesus is God or not, um, let me think, he says that, that he's not the most high God. Here's what Origen has to say. Grant that there may be some individuals among the multitude of believers who are not in entire agreement with us and who incautiously assert that the Savior is the most high God. However, we do not hold with him, but rather believe him when he says, the Father who sent me is greater than I. We would not therefore make him whom we call Father inferior, as Celsus accuses us of doing. So, uh, so yes, yeah, some church fathers do refer to Jesus as God, it, and some pre-Nicene ones do, but it's either because they're modalists, or in some cases they're just using it in a nominal sense, in the sense that he's a higher... Like he's a being with authority. And and then Origen, when directly pressed on whether Jesus is God, explicitly denies this. So that's what I have to say. That's your response? Yep. Do you want me to address something else? But, uh, that's what did what I, I ask? Uh, you, you mean the, the specific Bible passages? Do you want me to speak to those? That was kind of the point. Okay, well, I just felt the need to respond to that. But how much time do I have to respond to those verses? I'll give you a minute. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best in a minute to try to uh, to uh, speak to those verses in John. Um, so John, I think I addressed John twenty twenty eight sufficiently, but I think I can speak. Sorry, Tom, if I have to catch up for one second. So I asked a specific question in Revelation, Alpha and Omega, first and last, Isaiah forty four verse six. I presented John 1, 17, Revelation okay. 22, 12, and 13, verse 20. I respect you all, but none of you have answered the question. Give me one shot at it, Thomas. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to speak to that, all right? Um, when he says he's the first and the last, I would just say that it's basically just saying he has a special sort of title. And then I would also say where Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. Did you want me to speak to that one, right? I'm just giving you the time. I Okay, well, I'll try speaking to that one. Uh, I should note that in the Septuagint, uh, several prophets are referred to as I am, ego, I me. And I would say that, that, that if you just read the verse plainly, I don't think there's anything in the verse that would require Jesus to be God. I think at most you could say it means that Jesus pre-exists, which I do believe. Um, but even if he didn't, you know, him being called I am, I think would still work because prophets like moses in the septuagint were called i am so that's how i would how i'd respond to that all right i'm going to respond in one minute here and then we'll be going to the open time uh, i want to again say everybody in the room glad to have you guys in here um we will be talking in just a few moments here a little more interactive for about 15 20 minutes or so we kind of went a little bit farther than intended but it's been really good by the way thank you both thomas and josh for being here i really appreciate it as well as matt maybe down the road we'll probably have some other discussions if you guys are open to it um so i'm gonna give my response here so my question was i'm gonna re-emphasize it a little bit more firmly okay so i opened up with isaiah 44 verse 6 which said this thus says the lord the king of israel and his redeemer the Lord of hosts. I am the first. I am the last. And there is no God besides me. Goes on to say, who is like me? Let him proclaim and declare it. Yes. Let him recount it to me in order from the time that I established the ancient nation. Let them declare the things that are coming. And the events that are going to take place. Do not tremble and do not be afraid. For have I not long so since announced it to you and declared it? 
and you are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? Is there any other rock? I know of none. Revelation 117, Jesus said, I am the first, I am the last. Revelation 22, verses 12 and 13, Jesus speaking says he's the first and the last, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, and the end. Either Jesus is God from Isaiah, or he's a liar. There is no other way around that.